Okay. Okay. Uh, so good morning, everybody. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having organized this uh, conference. Um, first of all, I want to apologize because um, I will try to be very fast and I will not go into details in some part of my presentation because this is my the result of my PhD project. So as you can imagine, it's not easy to uh, compact everything in 10 minutes. So I will try to be as clear as possible in a uh, short period of time, even if it, I will be, I will have uh, a lot of things to say. Don't hesitate to ask questions later. Um, so as I was saying, the, this um, today I'm going to present my PhD project about uh, the subsistence strategy during the Middle Paleolithic in the northeast of Italy. And uh, to do this, I applied two high resolution techniques, which are the dental wear analysis and the semantic chronology to infer the season of occupation at the Nadale, San Bernardino, and Fumane Capes. Uh, before I start uh, with my presentation, I would like to spend a few words uh, to underline that this project is aimed at uh, filling uh, the gap about seasonality in the Italian peninsula. Um, during my work, I had to face basically two challenges. Uh, one is the complete absence of studies uh, about seasonality, and second is the lack of knowledge about MIS for deposits and Kina Mysterium sites. Uh, in Italy, at least, uh, which is the chronocultural framework of these uh, three deposits. So I will start with a brief uh, brief overview of these three sites. Uh, the Nadale Cave is a small single layered Kinami Styrian site, which is uh, dated to the, the onset of uh, MIS4. Then we have some uh, caves, uh, cave, uh, which is located in the same area. Um, and uh, um, for this uh, site, I, I sampled uh, materials from two main layers, Unit 4 and Unit 2, which were the richest in uh, archaeological materials. Unit 4 is dated to the MIS 5B, uh, well, well, while uh, uh, Unit 2 uh, was dated to the MIS 3. Um, in, in these uh, in these uh, layers, we, we see a broad variety of mammal species, uh, especially with the um, the predominance of red deer and roe deer. Um, Fumane Cave is one of the most uh, important Paleolithic sites in Italy. Uh, and uh, for this study, I sampled materials from uh, A9 and from the macro unit A5, A6, uh, which are currently the, um, the only middle, middle Paleolithic layers that yielded suitable samples for, uh, for dental wear analysis. Uh, in this case, uh, we also see predominance of red deer, roe deer, um, in slightly different percentage of uh, bovids and giant deer, which are less frequent in the macro units, A5, A6, and more frequent uh, in, uh, uh, in the first half of MIS3 in the A9. So, uh, so the main objective of this uh, study was to, to fill in the gap about this, uh, this uh, seasonality um, uh, studies in Italy. And to do this, first of all, I needed to acquire and exhaustive the archaeological and taphonomical data about materials, materials recently, recently yielded by the Nadale cave. Uh, then I wanted to acquire a specific um, uh, a definition of a specific uh, season during which uh, these three sites have been occupied by the Neanderthal and the extent of these occupations. Um, and then, in general, uh, the, the final aim was to comprehend how Neanderthal managed the environment and scheduled their activities in the northeast of Italy. What? Sorry. Okay. So, um, to do this, uh, I, I applied uh, uh, three different methodology, and I will be uh, very fast on this. So, I combined uh, the traditional archaeological analysis. Um, and uh, three high resolution prox proxies, uh, which are the mesoware, the microware uh, analysis, and the semantic chronology, which are um, interesting to, um, to infer seasonality and the extent of, uh, of uh, human occupation. Um, this was uh, the strength, I guess, of my, of my project because um, it allowed me to avoid a possible lack of data due to the application of a single methodology to a small sample, like in this case and to have more accurate results, even when uh, the, um, the dental wheel signal was uh, at a low variability. So um, the archaeological analysis interested uh, the old faunal remains at the Nadale cave, and while <clears throat> I sampled 117 teeth from large and medium large sized game um, for the 
with dental wear and uh, uh, cement chronology analysis. So as you can see, the main results of the Nadale cave uh, pointed out the large presence of large science sized game with the predominance of uh, giant deer and uh, red deer and bobbits. And uh, as you can see in the picture, I tried to summarize, but it, the preservation is astonished in, astonishing. It's, mm, the materials are very well preserved with a, a very high rate of, um, of butchering uh, traces that uh, testify the presence of the whole, the complete uh, butchering sequence uh, at the site. So, uh, so now moving to the seasonality uh, results that are the very core of my project. Uh, I can say that, I can tell you that um, all the three sites uh, show a, a similar trend. So um, at the Nadale cave, the three taxa analyzed shows uh, low values uh, for both for mesoware and microware. And this put them uh, uh, among the variability of the extant browser. And the same situation can, um, can be detected for the two um, layers uh, taken into account for San Bernardino cave. Again, we have a low mesoware and microware score. And again, all the, the species sampled uh, plotted into the, um, the confidence ellipse of the extant browsers. For, uh, again, for, uh, for Fumani K, the situation is uh, exactly the same, low mesoware and microware uh, values, and uh, with, with the species um, falling into the confidence ellipse of the extant browser. Uh, for now, we have just few uh, data about uh, available for giant deer, so it seems that the species deviate from this trend, but for me, it's just a matter of uh, exiguity of the sample, so I will not uh, rely on this on this result. Um, talking about the extent of uh, site occupation, um, we can see that uh, again the Nadale Cave and San Bernardino Cave have uh, shown a similar situation. So all the taxa um, sampled um, fall in the, the zone A, which uh, means that as a low, the population has a, a low uh, intraspecific variability and uh, the material um, point out a, a short uh, mortality event, that is to say a short accumulation event or one, one or more short accumulation event, uh, which is um, equal or, uh, or um, uh, shorter than, than a season. And then we have a uh, situation of Mane Cave, which is um, similar for uh, the for the, the layer at macro macro unit a five a six, where uh, the red deer plot uh, plot into the into zone A again, so a short accumulation event, but the situation is slightly different for um, the unit A nine, where the values for um, red uh, roe deer uh, plotted into um, a zone A, so again a short accumulation event, but the the, the values for uh, giant deer. Mm, deviate from the trend and uh, point out a long mortality event, a long hunting event, so uh, probably a long accumulation event. Uh, regard, regarding uh, mm, uh, cement chronology, I was able to determine that uh, at some, first of all, I was able to apply the technique, the methodology only to, to sample from uh, the Nadale cave and San Bernardino cave because I was not able to uh, cut the section from uh, Fumana Caves. And uh, um, in both the sites, uh, it seems that the, um, the mortality event, the main mortality event happened in uh, during winter, during the bad season, with some uh, few minor events uh, happening in the, during the, the good season, namely um, autumn and summer. And, um, and and this is this led to um, some some uh, some discussion some some consideration. So first of all, the I was able to um, detect a diet uh, an homogeneous dietary pattern among the main taxa, which was um, I mean which was uh, what we expected. But the very the the low the microwave signal was very low due to the low abrasion of the surfaces of the teeth. So um, the species were uh, defined as uh, leaf, leaf browsers were lower than the extant browsers. 
And this, in my opinion, fits well with the pale-environmental data which are available from other studies for the region. The region of uh, the northeast of Italy uh, has been considered for years as a climatic refugium, um, and this is pointed out especially from uh, the, pollen, the pollen sequences um, that attest the presence of broadleaf species do, even during uh, the MIS form. So um, uh, seasonality for the for the extent of the, of the site occupation, we detected that um, the Nadale, San Bernardino, and the macro unit A5, A6 from Fumane um, can be characterized as short accumulation events with a short-term seasonal occupation. And this will be, uh, for me, will be, um, um, I mean, there will be uh, some, some validation of this also with the ongoing research is about uh, raw material procurement and spatial distribution. And then we have the situation of Fumane Cave A9, which point out uh, um, a short accumulation event for roe deer and a prolonged event for uh, giant deer. And this for me uh, could open the hypothesis that, that, can, that the, the occupation was, a, there was a longer occupation and then some seasonal exploitation of roe deer in some specific moment of the year. This is also supported now for by the, the last one of the last work, um, geological and macromorphological studies from Marcazzani et al. Uh, 2000, um, 2022, sorry. Um, and this could be also um, compared to other, to other situations, uh, for example, at Portel West level uh, F. So, um, sorry. So finally, um, the cement chronology allowed me to identify the uh, winter as uh, the main season of occupation at the Nadal and San Bernardino caves. But in both cases, minor events occur during autumn and summer. And this, in my opinion, points out the strong annual scheduling activity of this hunter gatherers group and um, in, in the certain, a certain degree of complexity in the settlement dynamics and the, the high flexibility that these Neanderthal groups had in, in the land use, in the, the land management. So uh, all these features concur to underline the high mobility pattern of the human groups which is also supported by the scarcity of raw material in the surroundings and the presence of raw material and the presence in the site uh, of raw material from uh, the pre-alps. So moreover, the, the results seems to fit well with the, the adaptation of the Kina system to high seasonal mobility already observed in other contexts. Uh, in conclusion, uh, we can say that during the MIS-4 and MIS-3 at San Bernardino de Nadale Caves were inhabited, inhabited seasonally for a short period of time, specifically during winter, but with some minor uh, evidence of occupation during spring and summer. Uh, the presence of short occupation uh, in, in different seasons pointed out um, the high mobility of human groups. And uh, then we cannot consider the large size dominated spectrum of the Nadale cave, but only linked to seasonal constraint, constraints. Uh, the hypothesis that it might be the result of deliberate subsistence choice, possibly related to a technocultural feature, is not completely to discard. Uh, finally, I would like to underline that uh, mm, this uh, integrated uh, methodology was fundamental to, uh, to have. Uh, in significant results, I would say, because um, the sample was not uh, very uh, numerous. I guess the quantity of teeth that I could sample was not so high. And also, despite the site, the, the, the well preserved material, uh, some of um, the dental wear signal was not enough uh, to determine the, se the season uh, of occupation. So. Uh, thanks to the integration of these three methodologies, zooarchaeological analysis, dental wear analysis, and cement technology technique, I was able to have some, some kind of, of, of results. So thank you all for your attention. I hope you enjoyed uh, my presentation. And, and uh, if you have a question, don't, please don't, don't hesitate. Thank you.